Much like its tremendous economic growth, China's space programs are showing signs of acceleration, helping them consistently surpass many other powers to become the U.S.'s main rival in the space race after the Soviet Union of the 20th century. NASA is probably feeling the power of China's space program, as its goal is not just to compete with the U.S., but the leadership that the U.S. has held for decades. So how powerful is China's space program, and how is it threatening the U.S.'s leadership? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The fierce space race between the U.S. and the Soviet Union in the 20th century ended with the U.S. winning. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, many people thought that no country could become a worthy rival to the U.S. However, this was not so, as China, another giant on the other side of the Pacific Ocean, has emerged to create a new space race in this generation with the U.S. To realize its ambition to beat the U.S., China has created a strong space program Program. Within this program, we need to pay attention to the core elements, including the Lunar Exploration Program, the Space Station Program, and the rocket system. Let's start with the moon competition, which has been spotlighted in recent weeks. First of all, back in 1969, the U.S. was the first country to send humans to the moon, an achievement that helped them beat their biggest rival at the time, the Soviet Union. And since then, the U.S. has maintained the leading position in this race. However, China has made a lot of progress progress in this race with its lunar research program. This program has four phases carried out sequentially, including orbital missions, landing the rover, collecting samples, and the construction of the moon base. The strength of this project is the methodical and logical route. Thanks to that, in just about a decade, China has continuously achieved achievements such as successfully landing a rover on the moon, sending a rover to the far side of the moon, and successfully collecting samples from the moon, returning them to Earth. Phase 4, which is also the phase that receives the most attention, is the construction of a moon base near the moon's south pole called the International Lunar Research Station, or the ILRS. This plan quickly attracted the participation of other countries, including Russia, Pakistan, the UAE, and more. The ILRS will begin construction in 2026 and take about 10 years to complete. Once completed, it'll become a counterweight to the moon base project led by the US. And although we can't conclude conclude that this entire project will be successful, with the logic and clarity of the plan along with the successes in previous phases, perhaps phase 4 will be a turning point that China creates in the race with the US. The strengths of the ongoing Chinese space project are rapid development and sustainable development, two major factors that are difficult to implement at the same time, but they've done so successfully. Soon, China will take new actions after Russia and India have made their own, especially India's success in the Chandrayaan-3 mission. Speaking of space missions, the space station is an extremely important element for China. The current space station project also demonstrates the technological strength that China possesses. Tiangong, or translated to Heavenly Palace, is the space station that China is building to compete with the ISS. Previously, China was not allowed to participate in the International Space Station for a number of reasons. Therefore, they decided to build their own space station. And they executed it very well. Extremely well, I should say. For more than a year since April of 2021, they have successfully launched and assembled modules for the Chinese space station. By the end of 2022, it will have completed assembling three modules into a T-shaped structure, including the core module Tianhe and two lab modules Wentian and Mengtian. Additionally, it also has cargo and crew spacecraft that regularly operate here. In just over a year, they built their own basic space station. When compared to the ISS, it took more than 10 years, with 30 missions under the cooperation of 15 countries to complete. This has demonstrated China's strength and potential in science and technology. Currently, although not as big as the ISS in terms of technology, perhaps Tiangong will have more advanced technology. The ISS was built between 1998 and 2011. The equipment and technology on the ISS are probably too old and outdated compared to the Tiangong. We can look at the comparison picture between the ISS and the Tiangong. The latter has a neater, more spacious appearance with many technological updates compared to the cramped and cluttered ISS. This is a picture that depicts the development of China's space program. Moreover, the ISS could stop operating in the next few years. This means that the Tiangong will be the only space station operating in Earth's orbit. We already understand very well the importance of a space station. It'll be a place to conduct 
research and experiments, an outpost, or an intermediate station for missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Therefore, China will have a huge advantage with its space station, which will even threaten the leading position of the US and especially NASA. Launch vehicles are also one of the factors showing China's strong development in the race with the US. The SLS, Saturn V, and Space Shuttle are famous rockets that are not only symbols of the US, but also the entire aerospace industry. In particular, the Saturn V was the vehicle that helped the US launch Apollo 11 and landed the first human on the moon. However, these vehicles are being challenged by Chinese developed rockets. China is constantly modernizing its vehicles by applying many of the latest technological advancements. Besides continuously increasing in thrust, China is also not hesitant to learn solutions from its rivals, typically SpaceX, the master in the aerospace industry. For example, China used the grid fins on the upper part of the Long March 2C rocket, much like the Falcon 9. They also plan to land on a sea platform like SpaceX's drone ship and especially apply the reuse method for their latest rockets, such as Long March 8 and 9, which NASA rarely paid attention to with their vehicles. Applying the reuse method can help China have more sustainable development for long-term goals, where its ambition is not only to catch up with the US, but also to beat and occupy the leading position that the US has kept for decades. Nevertheless, the US is still ahead of its opponent. Yes, the US still has many achievements and advantages over China. For example, the US still has a larger investment in space exploration, a larger infrastructure with more launch sites and spaceports, and the number of satellites in orbit also overwhelms China. Moreover, in theory, the US space programs or plans are still ahead of China. If NASA and the US can proceed with everything according to their plans, they will still maintain their current leading position. Last but not least, the US also has a key advantage compared to China, and that is more powerful private aerospace companies. The most noteworthy example being SpaceX, the company owned by the richest man in the world, billionaire Elon Musk. But of course, we're all too familiar with this man who has created countless records and achievements with SpaceX over the past two decades. Thanks to the support of SpaceX's systems, such as the Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft, NASA has accomplished many difficult tasks. And with the help of SpaceX, the US and NASA can still be assured of their leading position. But they shouldn't be subjective, especially when looking at China's advanced and ambitious space projects. The United States, NASA, and aerospace companies will soon have to take faster and stronger steps if they want to continue to maintain their position, not only in the field of aerospace, but in the comprehensive competition between the two countries. Now more than ever, the race is starting to enter the most important turns, where whoever does better will have a lot of advantages, even a chance at winning. Will China be able to close the gap and overtake the US? Or will the leading champion continue to hold its throne? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I always enjoy reading what you have to say. In any case, that wraps up our show for today. We hope you enjoyed learning more about the interesting space race. And if you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.